channel welcome back to my world my name is nevi if you're new and welcome to a video of mine <laughs> welcome back if you were not new hey boo how are you so as you can tell by the title this is a thrift store haul i went to two different thrift stores a while back and i want to show you the treasures that i found if i can remember the price i will absolutely show tell you and if we can find the brand together, I'll try to find the brand and maybe you could probably look it up. But I just gotta show you all the treasures that I found. So let's get into this video. But before we do, subscribe. Duh. <laughs> I'm gonna need y'all to subscribe. Thank you. We appreciate it. Cause we litty over here. We pretty over here. We a little sadity. So subscribe but without further ado let's get into this thrift store haul so the first thing that i got from the thrift store that i was so excited i found i was so excited i found these and when i bought them i already had people wanting to buy them from me <laughs> i don't know where you could i don't know where but I got two flower mirrors. They're mirror shaped like flowers and they have like little marking details. Really cute, found this at the thrift store. And this is what the other one looks like. They're a little bit different. And this is what the other one looks like. My thrift store does it by color tags and this wasn't the color that day it was an orange so I paid five dollars for a mirror but I feel like five dollars for one of the mirrors and that's not bad at all okay and this one was five dollars too also orange so yeah I was happy I was excited for those and I found those at the bottom shelf of like you know like the cup section where they put like cups and like plates I found that at the bottom shelf and I was like immediately the next thing that I got from this exact same thrift store was this bowl. How freaking cute. It is really big. It is shiny and pretty. And of course, that is what attracted me to it. Um, I will say a downer is they charged me $10 for this. I don't feel like this was a $10 bowl. And I definitely should have put it back. But I just thought it was so cute. <laughs> I don't know. But it was just so cute. I just couldn't leave it. But I don't feel like it was worth $10 though. So. Leopard print looking cardigan. It's really cute. It It's the ones where you throw it over. You don't really have a sleeve. So it looks like this. It's the ones you just throw over. You don't have a sleeve. Um, they come out real wide on the arm. So they don't fall off. The inside of it is white. But you can see like it's cut out like a poncho and then with it came a string so you could like wrap it around tie it up so I got the leopard print cardigan for $4.99 so five bucks as well I feel like it was really cute really classy my little wardrobe was trying to change to classy so I feel like that fits perfectly with a little bit of print because I need a little something. I can't just always be basic Betty. <laughs> For toys, when my family comes over, I don't really have toys for babies, toys for kids, I should say, not babies. And so I got me, I was signed me a little toy box, but it's just gonna be this. Like, <laughs> that's it, we're not having toys, toys, but I need something to entertain the kids. So I got these toys. I believe this color was not the color of the week, but 
one of these was the color of the week. So I don't know if it was yellow or if it was green. So one of these bags was 50 cents and then the other bag was a full dollar. But So with this particular thrift store, they try to put the toys back together with the same theme. But of course they can't always just get the toys that are the same. So some of them will be like random toys in a bag, but they put them in bags and sell them as sets of little toys. So like My Little Pony was in here with this Fergie. All in this one bag, um, you have like a Teen Titan character, Robin. Um, I don't know what movie this is from. So yeah, you just get these like little random, that is Looney Tunes. So this bag would tell me like it was just a random bag. Um, whereas this one, So one of these bags were 50 cents. I don't know which one. I can't remember what the color was, but you got Woody. These are more like characters. This are incredible. Um, the chick from Ice Age. The boo from home. Some of them are supposed to speak. Let's see if this one speaks. Oh yeah, nope. <laughs> Then I got one more, and this was also a dollar. So yeah, this one has like Scooby-Doo, Despicable Me. Yeah. Basically, I got a couple toys from the thrift store, <laughs> but that's because I have younger kids, and the toys that I have, they can't play with, period. <laughs> I got this jacket for, it was written for five bucks, but she gave it to me for three. It is this cute army print jacket. It looks like an authentic like jacket, but I'm not too sure. This is what it looks like. It's cute, it has two pockets on the chest area. And one down here at the bottom of each side. And it's cute, and then the back looks like this. Um, that's it, for three bucks. Cannot go wrong. I think the brand is faded. Yeah, I can't even help you with the brand. It's so faded. It's this corset. Now, I feel like this corset was used <laughs> as somebody's quinceanera. <laughs> but, <laughs> I'm gonna still put it on because I feel like it was really cute, girl. So, whoever wore it, girl, you, I'm sure you rocked it because this is too cute. It has, like, little rhinestones. Ooh, I love the little rhinestone trimming. It goes all the way around the corset. It is super cute and it's as shiny as it looks on camera and then you have the little rhinestone at the top really cute now will my boobs fit in it <laughs> that's a different story so the next thing I got is this bag now I know it's fake I know it's fake the people at the store had to stress it to me that it was fake I understand I just feel like it's just cute the aesthetic of it is just cute but it's this Ouis Vuitton. <laughs> it's this Ouis Vuitton bag that I found at the thrift store. Now it is bent up like this because of me. I've had it laying on this floor, jacked up this whole time, but it came pretty much perfect. Like no scratches on this, no nothing really. Just the handles start to look like they're barely getting worn, like right there. But it's really not like, Anything. I'm not even gonna let it zoom. So it is so cute, it's this bag. And the people had to stress so badly to let you know that it was fake. That when they put the sticker tag on it, they made sure they put fake LV. Just so you don't get it. Don't you forget it. I'm gonna skip through this real quickly because it is um, basic pants. This is where the pants come from. But they are just basic, like really nice stretchy pants. And I just wanted some like pants that weren't jeans, but weren't tight leggings, but also could be dressy pants, but weren't meant to be dressy pants. <laughs> if that makes sense, all in one, because these aren't meant to be dressy pants, but I definitely could throw this, take this to a business meeting if that makes sense. These are very much see-through, very much thin, I should say. 
Um, I want to say this also. So the the tag the color must have been yellow because I wouldn't have bought these otherwise. And so these were $3.99. And my thrift store takes all their Christmas and puts it in one section. And they have this really cute box. Now it wasn't this broken when I first got it, but I'm just gonna put some clear tape on the corner. And I got a bomb little Christmas box. This was normally 99 cents and it was only it was 50% off, so I got it for 50 cents. And it just says, oh boy joy. Oh boy holiday joy. <laughs> it says oh boy holiday joy and it's just a mickey mouse next thing i got this was the third thrift store that i went to i got this cup very upset about it very very upset it is a piece of plastic not even like a starbucks cup it's just a basic ass cup that if i were to drop it's gonna break real easy room essentials which is a target brand i'm not gonna talk too long about it it's not cracked or anything, but I paid $12 for this cup. Now, some of y'all might think that's normal, but $12 for a cup? Unless it got Starbucks plastered on the side, I'm trying to spend $5 for a cup. Not even five. You can get bomb cups if you get lucky at the Dollar Tree. And I paid $12 for this. I was not trying to spend $12 for this cup, but I didn't realize the lady went through. She was like rushing us through. The lady was like rushing us through the line and she came to my car and just started scanning everything in my car. I would not pay $12. I'm sorry. I, they probably don't sell this for $12 at Target either. They probably don't sell this for $12 at Target either. Ma'am. <laughs> so I got a $12 cup that I'm going to baby the fuck out of. Anyway, so from that same store, I got this too. This is a game. It cost me $12. Again, I would have put this back, but I'd rather pay $12 for this than $12 for a cup. But here we are. So this is a game, it's called Joke King, a family comedic game where being the funniest wins the crown. Don't know how to play it, but my family plays games. So I just brought it along with us to Play. I did buy a lot more stuff from the thrift store, which was Halloween stuff. I can do a Halloween haul for you guys. I actually recorded the outfits itself, so I could just post it. Um, but Halloween had passed, so that's why I had let it all go. But this was a part of it. I also have a lot more stuff, but since this is out here in front of me, I'm just going to show you. Um, but I got about five to six to seven. Halloween costumes so let me know if you want to see that I will still I can still post it just because Halloween is over doesn't mean it does not have to be posted but this was a part of it it is a sword it is a fake sword um and I got that from the thrift store so I have my other sword put up I have my other sword put up somewhere in this house I'm not even gonna go look for it but I will show you this one and the other one is similar to it just a little bit actually sharper this is the dull sword where the other sword is actually sharpened like an actual fighting sword <laughs> where this one is more for the look more for the aesthetic but i just got a sword from the thrift store it looks like this really cute right <laughs> I did not need a sword, y'all. What I need a sword for? But I got it. So it's what it looks like. It's super cute. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, I got this sword. Um, I think I paid 30 bucks for it. For each one, I paid 30, which this one is not like the best quality, but I got it for the look. I got it for the aesthetic, and I'm honestly not looking for like serious swords i just want something to be cute in my house so i thought about repainting this because this looked like it was once silver i mean once gold but it faded to like silver i think i'm just going to like paint it again i think i'm just gonna paint it so it's cute or whatever 
So from $12 Hell or $12 Heaven, depending which way you want to look at it, I got this bucket. This also came from Target. So this is one of these stores that are like the um, Target crate secondhand stores. This was one of them, but I feel like this was worth it because I feel like at Target this would have been like 20 bucks maybe. But I got this um, like laundry bin, laundry bucket. This is a storage basket. So, storage basket, but I'm ultimately gonna use this for either laundry or um, put it in my guest restroom as their hamper, which I don't have too many people coming over, but you know when people use towels and they really don't know where to put it? There's a hamper in your restroom. Uh, this is the first purse that I got from the $12 store. This was $12, I felt like it was worth it. I wanna say somebody told me they felt like it wasn't worth it, but I think it is. Um, this is like to open it. It's really just for looks because it's supposed to extend it bigger, but it doesn't extend it any, any bigger, y'all. <laughs> this is a pocket. The other side is also a pocket. This right here opens up into a pocket, but I just don't understand why anyone would put something in there. Because if you forget to close it, the slightest, it's going to fall out. This front part is a pocket, which it has a bunch of my stuff in it. This is not a what's in your bag purse. And then if it just flips open like that, pocket right here, and then a bunch of pockets in the inside. Nothing on the back, but I got this for 12 bucks. So next, I got this bag. Um, I haven't used it, but in my mind, I thought about using it as a laptop bag, like carry-on bag type bag. It is padded, plus it has this padding in the inside, so I think it's meant to be a laptop bag. Um, it is by A New Day, which is a Target brand. But it's cute, it's just black with this gold hardware. It has a bunch of pockets in it. Then this pocket on the side, that's kind of hidden, but it has this pocket here on the side. So I really, really, really like this. So I know I bought a couple more things from the thrift store, but I don't know exactly where they're at. So I'm gonna end this haul with the last thing, which I think out of the stuff that I have is the best thing that I found from the thrift store. It is these cute freaking heels. They are so cute. If you don't feel like they're this cute in my hands, wait till you see them on my feet. Babe, they are so fire. And I was surprised that I got them from the thrift store and the fur was still like fluffed out and cute. These are so cute. These are so cute and like they're my perfect size. Girl, they were only $7.99. $7.99. I just think they're just so cute, classy. In my outfits, I'm either going to do a fur, I'm either going to do a glitter, a diamond, a rhinestone, or something like that. Or I'm gonna, it's gonna have some color, some pattern going on. The point I'm not the biggest fan of if this was like a baby doll heel. So if it had a baby doll heel, I would like it a lot more, but this is still fire. These are still really cute. Yeah, and I think these were the best things that I found. For $7.99, girl, my exact size looked like they weren't even worn. Like, look, let me show you the bottom. They, they literally looked like they weren't worn. They were just bought and someone never wore them and then they just <laughs> donated them to the thrift store, which, girl, I appreciate. Tags are still at the bottom or like if they wore them once. But I honestly tried these on a couple times so that, that could be my doing. <laughs> but still, so cute, super excited, so. Oh, I was about to say that's all I got from the thrift store, but this is the odd thing out that's last that I literally got from the thrift store, so I messed up, but put this before the shoes. Um, I got these Pez in Elvis. I just feel like one day they'll be worth money because people actually still collect Pez. So I just feel like one day they'll be worth money, but I got these for $12. And if not, I think these are pretty cool Pez. If I had to pick some out. But yeah, <laughs> random as fuck. Thank you guys so much for watching and sticking to the end of this video. If you did, appreciate you. And if you're new, again, my name is Nevi. Please like, comment, and subscribe, you guys. Because we litty. 
We litty, we pretty. And we're a little sedity. Just a little bit, just a little bit. Thank you so much for watching and until then, stay safe and I will see you guys in my next video. Oh no, they said it was ugly. That's what they said. I remember who I it was my it was my family too. One of my family members said that it was ugly. I think this bag is ugly. Be real. Because I think it's cute. I think it's cute. I like the gray with the gold hardware. Don't try to play with me. Okay, bye.